Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I almost smacked you upside the head. You <laughs> really did. There's a wide welcome. There's a wide swing. Uh, speaking of violence, violence in a bottle. You got yeah. love it. The Lefroy. Yeah, a gift from the titan of whiskey, Brendan Kite. Daniel, in the distance, do you hear? I hear it. Could it be? Of course it is. Probably. <laughs> and bastards. Okay, this is Lefroig Cargis. Now remember, they blend this as a special release of the Cargis line every year. It's for friends of Lefroig. Right. This is the port and wine uh, finish. Okay, because we've had the Cargis. We've had many. It's, yeah. It's a, it's a uh, it's a line of Lefroig. So this is the port and wine finish. Port and wine finish. Now in theory, uh, part of this is matured entirely in ruby port barrels, Ooh. and the other is finished in wine casks. From what I understand, that's the most ruby of all the ports. Yes, that's accurate. It's not quite as tawny as the tawny port. It's more it smells strangely a uh, ruby, like Lafroig. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have to do the AB because like a, a lot of violers are gonna be just so domineering with these big classic smoky like peaty i don't think um, we have any other little frogs yeah did emma take them <laughs> <laughs> uh that even whenever there's a finish that's present it's just so many other big flavors and big notes vying for your attention that just going in um trying to find the reference points just in the single pour i think we may need like you know all of the frogs to do this episode justice, and you have two hands, you didn't even bring back two. You just brought the one. Sometimes I feel good about the amount, the amount that you're learning from me and I've trained you to do your job appropriately. And other times you pull this kind of stunt and all faith that I had is just dashed, dashed against the shores of your stinginess. That's poetic, you see that? You good? <laughs> you just you slow walking it? Just, just taking my time. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. There's some difference. Good job. You did it. <laughs> it's over. This is going in your quarterly report. Oh. I bet you didn't know that I did that. I gave him reviews. One's a quarter. Yeah, we just had the board meeting today. <laughs> they tried to fire me. They or Rex orchestrated a coup. Right. <laughs> and we almost had tried it. tried to get me replaced. But one person slipped in and missed, Ooh. and I yeah. needed their vote. Yeah. He tried to get me replaced by a Ken doll. <laughs> <laughs> like, wasn't even, not even a real person. But your only defense was, but guys, I'm already smooth down there. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was weird. Yeah. I thought it's not so strangely worked, though. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, he's smooth. Did not see that coming. <laughs> I think we have the right man for the job. <laughs> He's a eunuch. <laughs> okay, when you A-B compare them, you immediately get the dark cherry, dark fruit note exploding out of the glass. But it, when I first picked it up, all I got was the classic Lefroy. And, and again, I think exploding, because 
In, in the comparison, you can find it. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's exploding out of the glass in the comparison. I'm saying you can find it once you have an AB, a reference point. It jumps straight to the top, though. But I'm Go saying, back. I'm saying, like, maybe whenever you use the word exploding, it's different for me. When I use exploding, it's like the only thing I can find. I have to really dig deep to find anything else. And I'm so finding those classic Lefroy nodes. So let me clarify then is this. That the nose of Lefroy jumps out of the glass, period. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What happens when you go back to this port and wine finish is that the front end of that forceful blast of air yeah. is dark yeah. fruit and candy. Yes. yes. I agree. I'm going in. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. We got like a fruity candy wrapper on the end of that peatiness. Yeah, but it brings out more of the vegetal notes than I remember. Like I am getting like charred asparagus, like real vegetal notes, not just briny smoke. See, the thing that jumped out to me was I find the things I'm expecting from the Lefroy. Right. But there's this, you know, um, red fruity wrapper around the end of that as you move towards the finish. Oh, roll it around, open it up, and now I'm getting like a a cherry. Uh, what do you have with the, the lollipop that has gum in the middle of it? A bubble pop or whatever? So yeah. Or to, yeah. So I'm like, getting that kind of a dark cherry note. Okay. I'm going to try Like a hard it. candy on a stick. I'm going to do the... You just pulled out the classic tin? Mm-hmm. It's also ringing in at 52%. Okay. So the tin is probably in the... What? 43%? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why I'm about to say what I'm about to say. I actually like this car just better. Mm. I think it adds a nice layer, like the port elements. Mm -hmm. You can find them if you're familiar with Lefroy. Yeah. If you're unfamiliar with Isla, you're just going to get overwhelmed by the big Isla notes. But yeah. you can find them, and it adds another layer of um, of, 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 of complexity oh, wait. that I think plays nicely with the. This is the car just. Okay, good. That's a two. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree that it sort of fills out the mid-range. Like, the, the 10 yeah. is just all these aggressively sharp highs and peat, yeah. and then this, like, deep wood, low brine. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you know what it is? The mid-palate sweetness is I mean, filled out. Lefroy is already uh, a, a complex whiskey. There's mm -hmm. a lot of notes going on. And it's... Uh, this is going to sound so douchey. It's like orchestral. There's a lot of different things that are playing really nicely together mm -hmm. in harmony. And I think this adds just another um, layer of instrumentation. It's like when the French horns come in. Yeah. And they're recognizably French horns. Yeah. And you can but they it always there. fill out the midsection. Yeah. 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 God, God, how pretentious are we? I like orchestra. I, I am a monthly supporter of the only classical radio station in Austin. I can fix this pretentiousness ah, with no Jesus. words and a flick of my wrist. Yeah, you probably can. Ah, mother! <laughs> I was waiting for and something back. in that direction. Right back in yeah. the gutter. <laughs> okay. You feeling good? <laughs> oh, he's feeling good. Feeling smooth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the hell out of it. I wish it yeah. was more widely available, but you said the, the card just... It's a special release. And uh, what are you like, the friends and family? What the hell? Friends and family, this five finger discount. Okay. No, no uh, if I do. Yeah, it is for the friends of Lefroy. Okay. And I was thinking of like, what's a more widely available Lefroy that has that wine finish and they just, it's not that common. Yeah. 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 Lore has so, some of those notes. Just dump some wine in your Lefroy. Yeah. The same thing. Totally. That actually might work. Some ruby port, like just a drop into a Lefroig tin? Maybe. It uh, might work. May, well, so may, like a it uh, won't taste like this, yeah. but it might make it interesting. All right. Mountain Dew, too. Just what, what? Drop. Could you and all the other magnificent bastards please raise a glass, a glass to celebrate the arrival of my firstborn mm. child, or the cook? It may be a few years before she was a whiskey drinker, but I'm <laughs> catching up. With the back catalog of videos, both Volt and Tribe, in the long hours of early morning with no sleep. Yes. Uh, to uh, to Orla and her very magnificent father there. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Do you remember doing that? Oh, I totally remember the, like, what am I going to watch for the next three hours while I not sleep? Yeah. And it needs to be engaging enough that I don't fall asleep while holding a child. Yep. Yeah. So, well, so I can't nod off and then you hear a thump. So I was, uh, I've been like streaming this stuff on the consoles mm -hmm. and then um, you can plug in your headphones to the controller. Mm. 
So, you know, you basically just have, the only you can hear it didn't wake up the kid. Right. But then the real trick was whenever, and I think I talked about this like <gasps> the years ago. The bottle hold. The, the bottle, what are you talking about? Like when you're also holding a bottle at the same time? No, 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 the real trick. So what are you doing, you amateur? That's amateur? Amateur, I wanna help you okay. out. This okay. is what you do with the, with the kid. Right. You get like um, the kind of uh, pillows they put on the couch. Okay. Right. So you're sitting there and you need to game because right. this needs to happen. <laughs> But you also need to feed the kid. Right. So you lay, you're sitting down and you lay the kid like in your lap and then you have pillows on the left and right side of the kid. Now here's the trick. You lay a little pillow on the kid's chest and then you prop the bottle up <laughs> to where the bottle is tilted into the kid's mouth. This is such and bad then you're, thing. You're, <laughs> No, are you kidding me? They can't, the weight of the bottle is gonna be pushing and they won't be able to no, pull away No, angle is key obviously, <laughs> right? <laughs> you start trying to crush the little guy i mean <laughs> damn dude no but the angle is critical and um you also uh you need to be the type of the nippleture <laughs> that it's just not like constantly so streaming much, out the, the milk or whatever you so have so much for the glassy side of the chair <laughs> no i'm saying though when because you, because it whenever they're teeny tiny if you're hold upside down i'll just go drip 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 it's too much mm -hmm. it'll choke and then you're like in the middle of pony noobs and your kid's like you're like, you know, choking on milk and you have to put down the controller and then you're dead. This is horrible. So really getting the angle dialed in so it's not too much weight, it's not aggressively, and that's what I'm saying. There's like gauges of nipulature that you really need to get right to where it's not, you can hold upside down, it doesn't drip out, but they, they put in like a little amount of like the infant sucking force and they can still get it. And then you're gaming due to the wee, wee hours of the freaking morning, <laughs> poning noobs, doing your fatherly duties. So you get to play video games all night long and then get credit for having been up. Oh all yeah, it's great. No, like my wife is like, oh man, thank you so much. I need a sleep. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bed right now. Yeah, I, got, I got like 20 levels last night. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, it's more. <laughs> you're welcome, Alex Cook. <laughs> Changed your life. Uh, ready, Franco? I don't know what's going these days. Everything, everything time, Daniel tries a whiskey. I'm just reading it. Right. Everything time, Daniel tries a whiskey. The moment he tastes it, he dashes like a hound for something to compare it to instead of enjoying it. Seems like a waste. Yes, Daniel. Oh, I'm done. It, my job on this show is not to enjoy the, my beverage. Or this would be like a 45-minute episode. It really would. My job is to give context so you can enjoy it. No, Daniel enjoying himself would be not saying anything. Oh, yeah, for hours. Right, and then... And like, taking oh. hours to finish one pour. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I, we should have, like... Let's do tomorrow's episode. We should seven. figure out what's the fastest you have ever gone from opening of the, sh of the yeah. show to... Walk in the whisk vault. Oh, Ooh. I've got it. Yeah. Right. No, I think it was before we even finished the... I was already off. Because <laughs> I was remembering I wanted to have it already out here. Uh -huh. So I don't think I don't think there's even a gap. You're probably <laughs> right. Word of the day, nipulature. Oh. French horn. Ah! Mother. That was a direct <laughs> shot. <laughs> uh, here's dividing stealing a drink. If you fight me, fight for a friend. You steal, but you steal your lover's heart. And, <laughs> and if you drink... May you drink with us. There it is. Right? John Perkins. The bottle. <laughs>